Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back uh, for another 1.18 survival uh, kind of build. And this one we're focusing on doing an automated cactus farm with this really cool aesthetic. So um, stay tuned. This is going to be really awesome. I'm really excited for this one. Um, it's pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward, but I think it'll add a nice little bit of detail to your build. So anyways, without further ado, let's get on with it. All right, everybody, so here are the main blocks that you're going to need for this uh, build. So just pause it and we're going to get on to the next slide, which is the general layout. Now, here we have the actual layout. Once again, pause this video, put this down. It's very simple and it is very small in aspect. So definitely keep note. And then lastly, this is going to be how I set up the uh, hopper system. Uh, you can either use a normal hopper if you just want the cacti or if you want to use a compost for a bone meal. All right, everyone. So now that you have the basic layout, it's time to begin construction. First off, you'll want to use some stone brick as the outline block and place sand down in the center with one space between each. Use a block of your choosing for the floor. In this build, I just used stone. I kept it simple. Once complete, you'll want to place a water bucket in the back corners which will drain the items into the hopper. And as a next step, you'll obviously want to place a cactus block on the sand, and then in order to complete the farm, you'll need to place wood fencing in the middle. You can either make these sections connected or just have a floating fence between each cactus block. Both would work fine. Once complete, you'll want to stack the stone brick walls three high to prepare for the second story. Now that the center is done, I'm going to focus on building the miniature towers. You can use whatever blocks you want, but I decided to use mossy stone brick, stone brick, and cobblestone for the gradient. From the base of the towers, you'll want to add two stairs in the center for a window frame, with the four corners being stacked six high. Now once you're at the sixth block, add some upside down stairs to complete the window frame. From there, you'll use strip spruce logs on the corners, and then add some lecterns in between them for a really cool design. Now, once you've completed that, add another layer of stripped spruce and create a new outline with just the wood. Afterwards, throw some stone brick over it and begin adding some upside down stairs to the peak. This will add more atmosphere and not have the build be so flat. After you place the stairs, you'll throw some chiseled stone bricks on top of the stairs and we're gonna add a few more details. After adding some polished andesite slabs, you'll move on and throw down some spruce trapdoors beneath the peak. Once that's done, you'll want to add some stone buttons and spruce signs that are level with the top window frame. Next, you'll want to add whatever window pane you prefer and then move on to finishing the top. I used a combination of stone brick walls and jungle wood fence, but be sure to mix things up that are appropriate to your theme. Don't forget to use spruce fencing to connect your chiseled stone bricks. Remember, this build is actually uh, pretty pretty fun and has a lot of possibilities. So really, just enjoy yourself. Go wild with it. You can't miss. Now what you're going to want to do is essentially just add another supportive layer on the bottom made of stone bricks, mossy stone bricks, and stairs of your choosing. And what we're going to do is move on to the center at this point. Now the center is going to be made of some oak logs that are four high with one jutting out and the sides connecting to both towers. You can use spruce stairs to add a little bit of a layer and then we're going to use those good old lecterns again to once again add some additional detail. Throw in some spruce, uh, I'm sorry, some birch trap doors and it should work just fine. So right above this center area we're actually going to build the roof using oak stairs and oak full blocks. Now, before I get ahead of myself, you'll want to repeat the same design of the cactus farm uh, that was on the first story on the second story. You'll want to add slabs as the floor and then place the sand just as it was originally with one space in between each. You can add glowstones to the corner if you want for some additional lighting, but it's not a have to. Once again, you'll want to use the water buckets in the corners uh, and you're pretty much good to go after adding the cactus blocks. You'll also want to build the wall three high just as we did originally, and that will pretty much seal off the farm after the fencing and everything is complete. And now, since you finished the second story farm, let's move back to the roof. You'll want to begin by placing the stairs on your normal triangular design, beginning with three stairs. 
Then at that point, you'll want to take some stripped oak logs for the next layer and then place stairs on top of that. Repeat the full block stair pattern one more time to finish the front section. You will repeat this design on the back, but we'll get to that in just a moment. Now, in case things were confusing at first, I built the second tower for you so you can see how it's made. Afterwards, I'm going to paste the remaining towers in off video and I'll meet you again shortly. All right, so now that we've finished the front, it's time to do the side. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna use some stairs, even with the stripped spruce logs. You're gonna put a full block on the next layer and then some stairs to match it up. If you do this correctly, it should match up perfectly with the existing roof. Now we're gonna move on to the back area. So once again, you're going to wanna take those three stairs, slap them together, and then take your stripped oak log and put that on the next layer with some stairs on top. Now, once again, repeat the design with another full block and stair, and then finish it off just like so. This will allow this roof to have a nice peak, and you can also finish off your designs on the little towers. All right, everybody. So I hope you enjoyed that time lapse, but after ringing this, dang blasted bell uh, I really have barely gotten anyone to come see me so I don't know if the bell even works I have no idea I typically don't play survival or anything like that but this bell is not doing what it's supposed to do so I was gonna tell them that they have a new ruler that is not going to be the case in this village. So uh, what I want to do is show you how this looks for first off from afar. So it does not look like a cactus farm. This really honestly looks like it's more of a base. Now, to be completely honest with you, most of this base is completely unnecessary. This is just not even needed for a cactus farm, but it has a great aesthetic. It's going to make your build look awesome. So without further ado, I want to give you all a small little tour of the inside. So it's a very simple cactus farm, as you saw in the video. You'll see these videos all over YouTube on how to make this farm exactly the way that it needs to. Um, you know, of course, as these grow, they break off. They go into the hopper. I have it set up to where it'll make bone meal through a composter, and it goes in the chest. So... That's essentially how this works, and of course you can add that second layer if you want some additional cacti. Now, with that being said, once again, super easy basic build. And that cactus farm takes up the whole center, and these sides are kind of worthless. Unless you wanted to, um, you know, like sneak through here and maybe put in a door, you could also do that for... Uh, we're going to lock you up, sheep. Goodbye. Um, <laughs> you could always do that for some extra storage space. You could do all four of these towers, but that's totally up to you. So as it stands, and what you may have not seen in the video, is I added these trap doors with some grass blocks, used some bone meal, added some details. Obviously, I textured this whole structure, made it look really clean, added some stone up there just to give it a little bit of a smoother look and not so chaotic. My key point that I would say is texture and change these stairs around. Make some mossy, make some cobblestone, just kind of switch it up. You'll be able to really enjoy this style because it's simple. I mean, this is one of the easiest builds you could ever make. Um, and it just looks absolutely awesome. Uh, but anyways, this is, this is pretty much it. Now see, like you could, um, I guess maybe put like a small window here, but obviously if you're not careful, the water will come out. So that's why I just kind of left it as is, but, and, uh, but yeah, like I said, this is the main structure. This is the back part. You can put chest, um, if you wanted to stack hay or, you know, you can 
throw in more chests. I mean, you know, obviously it's truly up to you on what you would like to do, uh, but this back area is completely open. And really and truly, I think the lecterns add a really nice design to this build, especially when you turn them the opposite way. Um, it just gives it that a little bit of a decorative touch, which just adds to me a good bit of character. And of course, you know, when you're up here, you can see everything. So maybe actually putting in, you know, a, a ladder uh, with the door right there is not a bad idea really and truly so uh but anyways yeah that's that's pretty much the build it's nothing crazy it's nothing you know um i mean like i said it's completely unnecessary but it looks awesome and that's really what matters most so thank y'all so much uh for tuning in um i know you know these vanilla builds are not really something that this channel has done too much in the past but i want to try to make a good mixture of modded and vanilla content especially since conquest has come out on bedrock and you know like people can make these builds in their own worlds much more easier so anyways thank y'all so much for tuning in y'all are fantastic um definitely you know click that subscribe button if you haven't already shoot a like share with your friends comment below what you'd like to see next i am working on a few different farms to make them all fit this medieval aesthetic so this is probably going to be a series a uh, very simple quick series so anyways thank y'all so much this is of course the legendary porpoise signing off i hope you all have a good day and happy gaming